I'm in bed with Ryan O'Reilly. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm going to ask you some bed related questions. Great. First one, totally new one. Nobody has ever been asked that before. Okay. What happened last night? What happened last night? Um, well, we played on the Reaper Barn in Hamburg, and uh, after the show, oh, it was uh, it was good. We were playing upstairs, and uh, downstairs was a, a Canadian band called Mounties, and um, they have a, a guy playing for them called Hawksley Workman, who I'm a big fan of. So that was really fun bumping into to them as they were coming off stage. They had a, a little huddle for um, for their encore and I was suddenly like in the middle of it and they were all like drenched in sweat being like where are we going to play next what should we do what should we do and I was there being like yeah what will we play next and they ran on I was like going to join them but but um are you here to play some of them <laughs> no no <laughs> that would have been good though. but um then afterwards we uh me and, and my band we wandered around St. Pauli and we found a cool little bar and just sort of stayed there a bit too late and um <laughs> And had a had a good time, so yeah. yeah sounds good. Um, what happens to you on a full moon? On a full moon, <laughs> um, not too much. I don't turn into a werewolf, but I, I do. <laughs> there was when we were recording. I was we were, we were recording on on the Isle of Wight in um in the UK, and uh, we were staying right on the beach, and there was this big incredible full moon and I asked what apparently is the stupidest question ever I I said like there was the moonlight was shining all the way across the water in this like perfectly straight line and I said well that's amazing how the straight line is facing directly towards us but everywhere else is dark and everyone laughed because they said well the straight line is always going to be where you are because that's how light works but um, I'm, I'm not I'm obviously not that au fait with science I was like no no we're stood right in the light so I turn into a bit of an idiot during a full moon <laughs> <laughs> better than a werewolf yeah I, I guess so um, do you have a trick to fall asleep um, I'm, a, I'm a good sleeper uh, I snoring doesn't bother me like when you're on tour a lot yeah. uh, you share a lot of rooms and our drummer is the worst snorer okay. in, in yeah. the world. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, 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 no, yeah you, wouldn't, you wouldn't think it to look at him. Yeah, he's, he's got a few tricks up his sleeve when it comes to snoring. But uh, <laughs> it's never bothered me. I um, When there's a few people snoring at the same time, I always like to imagine that I'm on safari in Africa and I've like just pitched up a tent next to like a, a little group of baby rhinos, like rare endangered rhinos, and you can... <laughs> And you're like, and in your as you're sleeping, you're like, oh, I'm so lucky to be in the wilderness, surrounded by all these wild animals, and um, and then I, then I fall asleep. So you just have to trick yourself, amazing. yeah. Just, uh, imagination before you go to bed. Yeah, I can't do that. Does <laughs> David know he's a rhino to you? Or yeah, yeah. You I tell him. I tell anyone that joins us on the tour, it's like, okay, picture a baby rhino. You're very lucky to be. But um, so nice. Tyler was just that uh, he he claps his hands, he turns off and on the lights. He's always uh, to, get him to, to stop snoring. To I was like, just picture the safari. Just baby rhinos. Yeah. <laughs> Never nice way to go. Um, if you could choose whomever you want to perform a song in bed with you, who would that be and why? Whoever I want to perform a song in bed. Um, Living or dead. Oh wow. I in bed so probably best not to choose a band because there might not be enough space in the bed yeah. unless it's a double bed um, living or dead I think I was trying to think who would, who would be like you know pleasant to have in, in bed maybe um, maybe someone alive maybe maybe someone I don't know. First aid kit. That would be that would be good. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to go two sweet kind of kind of almost like and do songs with. First yeah, aid. that'd be good. Well, <laughs> just you know, two Swedish girls in that that will will work. Okay. If you did not need any sleep, what would you do with the extra time? 
Um, I would probably tour around Europe in a van. <laughs> <laughs> what? Even yeah. Well, no, I don't think we've slept in the last three days, so I kind of pretty sure I know what that's like now. So. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I I don't know if I um I I was thinking about that the other day. I, I would I would um I'd try and learn a language. I think I yeah. try. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, because I can't speak any other language, and I'm always I'm always somewhere else always apologizing for the fact that I can't speak a language so I think that would be the first on my to-do list uh, if I actually had free time yeah. which books lie in or beside your bed um, at the moment I'm reading crime and punishment again um, just love Dostoevsky and um, I, I can't remember what's next to my bed at home East of Eden is often around there. Um, so you're a classical reader. Yeah, that was kind of my my other love. Apart from music, is is literature. That's why I studied at university. And um, okay. And uh, where it's like, it's always nice to have some Seamus Heaney poems by your bed as well, or Robert Frost, one of those. Okay, nice. Last question. Already. Okay. Wow. Which monster sleeps under your bed? Oh, um, I think, I don't know what, what kind of monster it would be. Maybe like, oh, God, did you ever see Pan's Labyrinth? You know, the monster in Pan's no. Labyrinth? That's like the scariest monster ever. It's the little girl goes in and there's all the um, the food on the table and she's like being protected by fairies, but then she eats one of the grapes and, and this monster is like this kind of, giant naked man with no eyes and then he puts his eyes in his hands and he puts his hands over it and he that would be under my bed okay <laughs> if you're going to have a monster you might as well make it a scary monster yeah. Yeah. I don't want some sort of half hearted <laughs> you know monster that I could beat up like I want to be scared if it's a monster yeah thank you so much no worries thank you